I'm sure a lot of us are really excited for the spring, myself included, and one of the reasons that I really enjoy the spring is I can pull out some apparel that just doesn't work at all during the winter. One example of a piece of footwear that I absolutely love during the spring and summer months is the classic boat shoe. The boat shoe not only has a rich history, but it also happens to be an incredibly comfortable and easy piece of footwear to own and enjoy. Maybe my favorite pair of boat shoes that I've ever owned are the Allen Edmund Maritimes. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining why I like them so much. They're a great balance of value and high quality materials. They feature a Horween Chrome Excel leather upper, beautifully constructed traditional style of construction. And they came in for me right around the $100 price point when I got them on sale from Allen Edmonds. So stay tuned in this video to get into the history of the boat shoe talk about the details in the construction and materials on the Allen Edmund Maritimes, and then finally making some comparisons to competitive boat shoes, both a little bit less expensive and a little bit more expensive. I think that you'll find that the Maritimes hit a nice sweet spot. As people familiar with this channel know, I like to get into both the design themes and the history of some of these classic pieces of men's footwear when I'm reviewing them. So let's start with the history of the boat shoe. This goes back to 1935 with Paul Sperry in New Haven, Connecticut. There he invented or came up with this idea of the top sider, a deck shoe, a shoe that was meant to actually mimic the foot of his dog and through that design which he was able to innovate, he basically brought a shoe to market that would work very well for maritime uses. Now, Allen Edmonds doesn't have any connection with the deck shoe historically, but they are a great American brand. Founded in 1922 by Albert Allen and Bill Edmonds, they remained a family business until 1978. Presently owned by a Grand Guard equity firm, they still remain a benchmark for American dress footwear. While Allen Edmonds is traditionally associated with business and dress shoes, it's no surprise that they would make the jump to proper traditional sports shoes like the boat shoe. And the Maritimes meet most of the conditions here listed at the Gentleman's Gazette criteria for a traditional boating shoe. They feature two eyelets with leather laces, mock toe stitching, and additional lacing around the outside of the shoe. Now that lacing is not functional lacing, which is true of some of the more traditional styles. It is leather lined, as you can see, with a extra heel cup in the bottom of the shoe. And then of course you have that traditional white sole and a very slight uh, herringbone pattern maybe in the bottom of the shoe for extra traction. And these shoes, in my opinion, with their relatively soft sole, work excellent in more wet conditions. Haven't gotten a chance to take them sailing yet. I wish I could say that I would. Although Ellen Edmonds is an American brand, unfortunately, not all of their shoes are made still in Wisconsin. They have a separate facility in the Dominican Republic, and these shoes are made there. Despite this, the overall construction is very good, save a couple details, which I'll mention in a bit. But first, we need to talk about something very special, and that's the leather that's used in the Maritimes. Horween Chrome Excel leather is the oldest pull-up leather made by Horween out of Chicago. Now, this is a highly complex process, 89 steps, 28 working days of impregnating this hide with oils, coloring with dyes, resulting in an extremely rugged yet extremely soft leather with an incredibly subtle and complex shade in the actual color of the leather. This is some of the best leather that you can buy. And as you can see some of these images from Horween's site, the results are quite stunning. This is the golden brown Chrome Excel leather. And as you can see, there's really just a huge amount of texture and depth to this brown. The result is a pair of leather shoes that not only feel incredibly comfortable straight away, these are pictures of the shoes straight out of the box, but as the break-in process continued over the months, I found them so comfortable and so easy to wear. As a very high grade top grain leather, first of all, the hideout of box had a beautiful plume. It was very oily and water resistant. I'm happy to report that after a number of months in wet and dry conditions, my feet are still so happy in these shoes. And even after regular conditioning, there's still so much character in the leather. 
The insoles of these shoes have held up very well, even when I'm wearing these shoes without socks, which, by the way, is perfectly normal with this style of shoe. The only complaints I have with these shoes are with regard to the heel counter. First, those little colorful pull tabs are starting to fray and pill a little bit, and then you have that obvious, unsightly wax knot. I'd say above the $100 mark with dress shoes, and even with boat shoes, you should be thinking seriously about the kind of leather you're getting from your dress shoes. Horween is really an outstanding leather to get in a pair of boat shoes that are going to be coming well under $200. You'd be paying up to $300 for some of the same leathers from Oak Street or Quoty or even some of the higher-end Sperry stuff. Now, for me, these represent an excellent value. There are other Horween shoes out there at about the same price. Uh, Sabago is one brand that comes to mind. I think Orvis has some very nice shoes that are competitive to these Allen Edmonds, but I would have to say that these shoes are definitely well worth paying a little extra for. I mean, the Horween leather is just amazing. If you haven't tried Chrome Excel, you've got to in a pair of shoes. It is a bit of a disappointment that such a great American heritage brand has to import their shoes to remain competitive at this price point. But at a hundred and fifty bucks or less, if you shop smart, you are getting a pretty impeccable pair of traditionally constructed boat shoes. Well, if you enjoyed this video on the Allen Edmund Maritimes, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber, so please hit that subscribe button below. What are your go-to summer shoes? Do you have a pair of quality boat shoes that you would recommend or that you've enjoyed over the years? Make sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, thanks a lot for your time.